What do you, EJ Massa, consider to be a relaxing video game? Uh, uh, I, most mostly like Pokemon games. <laughs> really, I love ca- capturing those weird critters. Um, I, just because I was thinking I was capturing footage for my video, and just uh, that all those games. Mm. I could just grind. I could grind for days in those games. I could. Uh, so, do you think it's like the it's the task? orientation that relaxes you like oh i've got to sort of chop through these tasks yeah or like especially because they're slightly repetitive so i don't have to put that much brain energy into it yeah um, like when you have like, you get a new game and you have you kind of have to like use your you know you have to use a lot of your brain power to learn it so it's just like you're you're you, they're simple tasks they kind of take a while you can maybe listen to a podcast while you're doing it you know um yeah so you'd be like, oh, I got to get to level like the like 34 and I got to grind through these things and I got to learn, learn this move. Uh, but then you can do other things with your mind while you're doing it. That's what we were uh, when when Kurt made the list of his favorite Switch games. Animal Crossing was at the top and, you know, uh-huh. God bless Kurt. But I, I've played this Animal Crossing game, this New Horizons game. I played it with my kid and I assume, much like Disney Dreamlight Valley, which has the same problem for me. I assume that eventually there's more game, but I've played a few hours and there's no extra game here. There's this is this is my experience of these games. They're like you sit through a lot of yes, text boxes. <laughs> and, and then they go like, so go ahead, you know, whatever. And then, you know, here's your backpack or whatever. <laughs> And I walk around and I collect sticks or apples or some shit. And my backpack is filled in the first five minutes. And they're like, you got to <laughs> drop some of these apples. And I'm like, well, what did you want me? To- well, did you know you could sell apples for sticks? So if you collect 25 sticks, you can sell them for one apple. And if you get five apples, you can build a tent. And if you build a tent, I'm like, holy shit, this is a waste of human existence. Uh, <laughs> this is just, yeah. and, and I'm like, I'd like to just like go explore. I'll go explore the woods or something like, nah, there's just, there's water. You can't go outside of here. You have to collect a hundred lemons before you can go outside of, you know, and I'm like, oh my, or you have to, we need you to do all of these little achievements. Like you got to show that you can plant five trees and they have to have fully grown by the third day or i'm like like the, the, this dream my valley game is like this i i want to see you know i don't know like scar from the lion king is on the cover of the game i don't think he's in this <laughs> game I, I i i've seen I've, I've played this game for three hours i see like uh goofy mickey and scrooge and scrooge is like come to my museum and buy things and i'm like oh I, should i do i have to is that a... and then you go to the menu there's a shitload of menu items <laughs> They're like, <laughs> yes, you have to buy at least three statues and two home ornaments from Scrooge and then go to Scrooge and help him rebuild this wing of his museum. I'm like, oh, 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 what is this? <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is designed to waste life. That's what it is. And I'm like, I, I'm not. Rela-. And so I ask people, why do you like this? And they're like, it's relaxing. And I'm like, it, for me, it's it, it is high stress to recognize that I have been bamboozled <laughs> by a low rent game developer <laughs> in, <laughs> into wasting my life. Uh, what I want, I tell you what relaxes me in a video game, cheap thrills. I want a cheap thrill. I want to feel a little, um, you know, I want to, I want to pick up Mario and jump through a level. I want to, uh, so the, uh, obviously like, you know, and if platforming gets too challenging, it's no longer fun. It, it crosses the, the threshold into mm. too stressful. But uh, like, whereas a Sonic game, there's sort of a meditative, it's quite simple. So I think it, it's like you where it, um, there needs to be like a background process. So we started talking about like, I, I bet a lot of people out there can relate to me in this regard. I find that uh, like I have like a, 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 a habit to always want to try to optimize my time where I'm like, I want to. I shouldn't be just doing one day. Ta- I should listen to a podcast while I play the video game or I should, you know, whatever, like double up on stuff. It, it makes some forward motion in life. Maybe it's an unhealthy thing. I don't know. But um, if I do something like if I play Tetris while somebody's talking, which you can never really do in front of them because it's so rude. <laughs> <laughs> 
but that will actually tie up my background processes and it will it'll shush the kind of restless side of me. And the, so the background processes are are fully engaged in Tetris and the foreground processes of listening to the person are fully engaged with the person. Like I, I can now tolerate the inefficient way that they speak or how long it's taking or how parts of it are boring or whatever. I can actually like kind of suffer through all that. <laughs> it sounds yeah, terrible. Kind of but, you know, like if I'm at a class or something, I, if, it would be lovely if I could just like play Tetris while I'm listening to the lecturer. Right. Anna was like that. Anna was like that. She um she would play like free Tetris dot org like during classes or we'd like mm. when we were dating, we'd talk on the phone and I would hear like keys clicking and just she was playing Tetris online. <laughs> I think it's just it's just to tie you up. It's to tie up the right. Because, yeah, your brain does simultaneous tasks. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Um. But well, I played I played the 3DS of Animal Crossing and I, I I played enough of it, and then when the Switch version came out, I was like, "It's the same. It's like the same exact game." But are you are you experiencing what I'm experiencing, or am I playing the game wrong? Did I was there a manual I didn't read or something, or is it really this stupid? Yeah, it's it's like you. <laughs> I mean, the first game it was like you have like a, I don't know if they kept doing this in these later ones, but it's like you have like a mortgage to pay off. I'm like, bitch, I have a mortgage to pay off right yeah. now. <laughs> no, it was like a, 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 a go get fl- uh, uh, air, airplane miles or something fly like flying miles. I was like, what For, am I, are we going to get in a plane at some point? I don't think you do. I think you just get the points or uh, it, yeah. 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 Not for me. Yeah, you can do different things. Like you can collect fish, but there's only fish during certain seasons. So you have to wait uh, to the season in real time to collect the fish. So you have like all these little tasks you can do, but I never found any of them satisfying. So collecting fake things, collecting fake things that don't even look good and that you can't even play with. Right. Cause that would incentivize yeah. me. It was like, oh, you can, if you collect these things, you can play with them and or you can, you know, you can. Whatever, like, yeah, like if, if I'm uh, what I need in a game is to feel like I'm making some kind of forward motion in order to feel relaxed and in order to feel because, yeah, I have to be stimulated to some degree. That's why I'm here. Um, and so, like, yeah, I need to feel like, oh, around the corner is a cool new thing. And when I'm playing Animal Crossing, I'm like, there's no there's no or Dreamlight Valley. There's nothing going on in this thing. <laughs> this is treading water. I'm. I mean, I, I liked I liked the one game they made, but that they keep remaking. I, I I liked it for a little bit. I played it for a little bit. It was fun to do. Was it? I don't know. Some ta- I don't know. It's kind of like it's got some charm to it. But it, once sure. I did that one game, like for a certain <laughs> amount of time, I'm not going to play it ever again. It's just yeah. It's almost like Breath of the Wild too. That's I think that's why I don't really haven't really respond uh, resonated with Tears of the Kingdom because it feels like the same game. And I did that game. Yeah, I know there's like other powers and there's other physics puzzles, but it's the same thing. <laughs> it's, it's the same. <laughs> That's one of the tragedies of, of, yeah, like working that hard on on an engine and then being like, can we just sequelize it with like the same game? And I'm like, mm, not really. Um, like novelty is still a, a factor here, but it worked with Mario Galaxy, too. Sometimes like that you learn all the lessons on the first one, then you can kind of refine it in the second yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah, Mario games are almost like different. Like I, I could play the same Mario. Like that's why Mario yeah. Maker is such a great thing. Is you just yeah. you could find different iterations of the same thing. Subscribe to Red Cow Entertainment on Patreon for full episodes every other week.